Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 44-year-old male who complains of ankle pain for about four months. His uh, pain is most pronounced laterally. And on this sagittal view, we see the tibia coming down. We see this rounded area and along the roof of the talus. This is called the talar dome. This is the tibiotalar joint to the ankle joint here, looking normal. This is the calcaneus and back, looking normal. This is the Achilles tendon, looking great. We got a plantar fascia down here looking great. So the midline images all look very good. But if we roll laterally, we see that there are at least one, two, three little bones that are not attached to the fibula. This is the fibula. At the very, very bottom, we have some bone fragments. This looks like an old fibular fracture with at least three fracture fragments that are not fused. There's no bone growth back or bone bridging between the fibula, so that we, we call this old fracture fragments and probably have a fibrous union. When you see a really sharp band of low signal between the uh, bones, and we think that it's probably um, fibrous material that's bridging them together, so this may have some stability. It's just not osseous bridging. So an old fibular fracture with multiple fracture fragments that appear to have fibrous union. We don't see any reactive marrow edema. And the marker has been placed below that, so this does not correspond to the area of clinical concern. Also, the ligaments up here were intact, and the pain is down here below on the lateral side. Now we see a tendon coming here. This is the perineus uh, brevis tendon coming down here to the base of the fifth metatarsal. That looks intact. This is the perineus longus coming down here, and it's going to loop below this thing here. And this is the, along the course. We just don't see it down here. This is very common to not see it here because of what we call magic angle phenomenon. And also you can get something called a fibrocartilaginous node in here that will cause the uh, signal to be uh, hyper intense. It won't be just jet black like this. So this is a very difficult area to evaluate. And here's the perineus longus down here beneath the cuboid bone. So we're going to look at this section that we don't see very well on this view. So this is an axial view. And in the axial view, this is the front, this is lateral, this is posterior, here's the Achilles tendon, here's the medial side, and we see the bony protuberance called the perineal tubercle. We see the perineus longus here, and it's going to go down, down, and then right here, we just don't see that perineus longus. Again, that's not uncommon because of the magic angle and fibrocartilaginous nodes in this area, but we just don't see anything going on down here. Another thing we want to look for is an accessory ossification. Sometimes you can have an os perineum out here that can cause pain, and usually it'll look like marrow. So you'll see a round area of um, marrow signal, but I just don't see that on this. We can put up another view, and this is a fat suppressed sequence. We can see the perineus longus, brevis. The brevis comes over here and attaches to the base of the fifth metatarsal, so the brevis is okay. The longus looks pretty good right here. And the marker for, uh, placed over the area of pain is right here. And that perineus longus is going to go underneath. And right here, it's just too bright and it's too thick. So something is going on over here. Again, we're looking for uh, that accessory ossification the, uh, or an accessory ossicle, the os perineum. We just don't see one definitely. But there's something funny right here, a little bright area. So this is a, a questionable partial tear of the perineus. Maybe there's some tendinopathy here that's bright. Maybe a partial tear right here. We're going to put up another view now to try to troubleshoot. So here we are back to the sagittal. The perineus longus is going to be the bigger one back here. It's going to come down. It's going to go around that perineal tubercle and shoot right across here. And again, this is that segment that looks abnormal. It's ill-defined, bright, thickened. And there's a little light bulb bright area right here. This is very unusual. So the question is, is this a partial tear or could it be something else? Now we have a plane films that are can be really helpful in this case. And this is an x-ray of the foot. And we can see right over here a big bone. So this is an os perineum, an accessory ossicle. It's in the perineus longus tendon right in this location. This is a very common normal anatomic variant. This is unusually prominent. And we don't really see it very well here. So that brightness corresponds to this. This is marrow edema within this os perineum. And you can have a fracture or a stress fracture of the os perineum associated with tendinopathy of the perineus longus tendon. And we, we call this painful os perineum syndrome 
um, so a painful osperineum syndrome. So if you have an injury, stress injury, fracture um, of this osperineum, it can be, become very hyper intense on this view. And on the T1 weighted images, normally it'll be bright like marrow here, but now it's edematous and it just looks dark. So it's really invisible. So this is interesting how difficult it is to see uh, on the MRI. But in retrospect, this intense area is that uh, edematous, really prominent osperineum. And this is it on x-ray. So thank goodness we have the x-ray. Otherwise, we'd be hedging a little bit more. But in this case, we can say that there is uh, stress injury or some other abnormality of the osperineum. And uh, this would go along with painful osperineum syndrome. Thank you very much.